you're still watching the marketplace let's now talk about customer service because the hospitality sector maintained its position as the best ranked sector in customer service in the country in 2021 by the Ghana customer service index report we just want to pull up some of the results that we could you know share with you regarding the various agencies and enterprises public and private you can see on your screens for the insurance sector we could have we had enterprise life also leading when it comes to the uh, customer service rankings as well DVLA GRA and the likes Yvonne McCarthy Ohui joins us you know via Zoom to help us understand the parameters uh, to this calculation Yvonne great job many thanks for joining us so help us understand clearly the parameters used in ranking these public and private institutions Yes, thank you so much, Charles, and good afternoon to all our viewers. So, yes, um, I'll just read this as we have in the report so that Great. we get it. And so what we do is usually um, hold this particular survey online, and then we also have those that go out to take responses from, from different customers. But usually respondents will rate their experience of customer service in 10 selected um, parameters. Okay. So these are the parameters that we actually ask them to rate. Trust the look and feel, the competence of the organization, professionalism, the ease of doing business, processes and procedures, customer-focused innovations, staff engagement, complaints and feedback, and then we added coronavirus preparedness, obviously, because of the type of um, situation we're in now. So for every company in the sector, we'll, we have the mean score for the customer experience measure, and then we convert that to percentiles. Once mm. we do that, we also multiply by a weighting figure that reflects the priority score of each measure that we use. So you can have um, some companies who would have probably a, even a, a bigger market share. And so they would have more people answering questions on their behalf. But we use that mating uh, methodology to you know, put every back, everyone back on, on a level playing field. So we use 10 different parameters to actually rate these organizations. Impressive. 2021, of course, we did see that the country was, you know, inching closely out of the pandemic. So help us understand your impression regarding performance customer service between 2020 and 2021. Does it keep improving or we're lagging? Well, we are lagging, to be honest with you. This year, we scored um, a 66.26, which is a C plus last year. Uh, so, usually what we do is we hold um, the fair in the next year. So, when I say last year, actually in 2021. So, um, 2021, we actually scored 66.26, which is a C plus. If you look at what we scored in 2019 and 2020, 2020 was 65.55, which is also a C plus, and 2019 was 62.61. So we are always hovering around the 66s, okay? Mm. There's been a slight increase, but it's not even up to 1%. I mean, I was hoping that um, after we had been through, you know, the whole corona situation, organizations would have sat up and really evaluated the service that they offered their customers and done something about it. So the increase is not, is not anything that's impressive. It doesn't really translate to a great experience for, for, for the Ghanaian citizen. And so there's a lot more to be done. Indeed, a lot more to be done. Yvonne Ohi McCarthy, we're grateful that you could explain to us what indeed entered into the 2021 Customer Service Index. Of course, she's with the Institute of Customer Professionals there.